Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I am here to do a mini love reading for the Gemini. This is going to be starting today, ending May 18th. Alright, so it's just a weekly mini reading, five card, basic spread. If you want a more in-depth reading, definitely go to my website, purchase a reading. You can book your appointment online. I do have same day readings and within the hour readings available. Um, again, this is a general reading for the Gemini, so it may not resonate with all of you. We're just going to look what's going on presently, which is today, and then in the past, and then your future. Um, there will also be a final card that will let you know how you should possibly proceed in the situation. Okay? Alrighty. <clears throat> Things are a little flighty. I can see the cards are a little flighty for you, Gemini. So you're feeling kind of anxious this week. I can sense a little bit of anxiety before I even lay out the cards. I'm just going to be honest with you. The love life is not... Props, I'm, I don't know. Let me see what I get. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so Gemini... Currently, you've got temperance. So temperance is telling you you need to be patient. That fear is coming up, that anxiousness, that, you know, feeling as though you're tired of waiting. She's always here to remind you of patience, balance, and self-control. Kind of like catching more flies with honey than vinegar. So when she comes up in a reading, this is showing a need for patience in the past you did get the devil okay so this is showing that there was someone in your life that was just really not good for you um, this person was really trying to control every aspect of your life um, and especially if you're a male Gemini this does not feel very well you know um, you may be a female Gemini and felt that way you were in some sort of bondage this can mean some sort of addiction some sort of codependent situation to where you were dependent on that person for too much okay um, the devil card also comes up um, as an as an intense suffocating relationship bondage you know um, some sort of domination or subjugation okay this could be a relationship with a boss or superior or someone that you see is as superior to you page of pentacles is crossing the devil in the past so page of pentacles i'm not even going to joke with you this is a literal person i see this as that person they are very possessive um which goes well with the devil card this person is even a little destructive they're kind of bored kind of apathetic towards life it's just like yeah you know, the Page of Pentacles is about boredom. Okay? This is about impulsiveness out of boredom. So whoever this person was, they weren't really interested in you. Okay? They just, I don't know. I get the sense that they just, you know, kind of, it was something to do. Okay? And I'm seeing you dealing with that. Um... If I were to look back at the date, I think this is probably a long-term situation, dating back years, possibly, or months. Now, your future card is the emperor. So this is a major arcana, major life event. And, you know, again, this is about some sort of domination. So um, the emperor, he is a very strong, masculine male figure an authority figure a father figure okay this is signifying a powerful influence and i do sort of see the emperor as a literal person possibly coming into your life now i don't see this is happening real soon i think it's going to take a while but i think it's a sign that you have to take the initiative um, I can also see that it's a possibility that um, it may be 
Um, you got two major arcanas. Now, what the emperor means in the context of love, okay? Because these cards mean something different for every situation. For love, money, general reading, you know, general meaning, I mean. Um, I can see someone coming into your life older than you. Someone stable, organized, and logical. And that's what you need, whether or not you're male or female. This is something that you're looking for, okay? You may not have been attracted to that person from the beginning, but it bloss it's going to blossom. And, you, and the strength card is crossing you in the future. So this is a really good card to get. The strength card is about mind over matter. So that anxiety that you're feeling, you need to realize that you are the only one that can get rid of it, okay? And you're going to have to beat it with your mind. It has nothing to do with what you have physically or what kind of, you know, physical attributes that you have. Um, this is your mind and what you do with it and how you overcome adversity, you know? Now, I see this emperor, okay, coming into your life. I see them coming, but I, I see it taking a while. They're gonna take, it's gonna take a while for you to actually connect with this person. And, you know, whenever you get the strength card, this means that, you know, you're gonna have a strong relationship that is mutually supportive and beneficial, unlike what you had in the past, which was sort of this bondage situation that did not make you happy, okay? Um, if you want a more personalized reading, the link to my website is in, is in the video description box. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe, thumbs up, and leave a comment. Um, have a great week. Bye.